Well, uh, good morning. It's Jim from Match the Hatch Fishing. It's uh, the last Saturday in January. I was at Cedar Creek yesterday, and I'll post that video uh, sometime soon. I'm at the Gunpowder on New York Road. I took the Billy Goat Trail all the way down, and uh, I'm about 25 pounds overweight, and uh, I'm not sure I'm not 22 pounds <laughs> overweight now. The Billy Goat Trail is really, really challenging. Uh, but I got here, I saw one other fisherman, and he said he hadn't seen anyone downstream. So I've come downstream here to a beautiful, beautiful section, and uh, I am fishing a little kind of soft tackle up top and a Tasmanian devil. There you go, on the bottom. Um, I've come to this just fabulous, fabulous section here. Um, it's a nice Saturday, there's no wind, the temperature's it's it's probably uh in the upper 40s um i'm soaking wet underneath all of my clothes because um of the the hike i took i've usually come here through the stream and thought that i might try the trail and uh the trail is not for the faint of heart everyone only this is the third time i've been here so i'm still learning it Boy, no, why you have? I just saw one. Really? It was dead, which is how I want to see it, but So someone caught it and killed it. I or the water is too cold, I don't know. But I took a picture. Wow, that's not good. Hang on, let me uh let me turn around. <laughs> I'm literally stuck. <laughs> uh hang on. Wow. Um you know what you want to do? Um I'll tell you what I would do. I would go to the Great Feathers Fly Shop. Yeah, I was thinking about calling. Because those guys are so dialed in. They'll call DNR. Yeah. But if those things got in here. Someone put them in here. And they, they, will, they, they could destroy this trout population. Yeah. They propagate like rabbits. That's my, my concern. Yeah, I have a friend who goes out to the eastern shore and, and catches them at night in a john boat with a bow and arrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a young hockey friend of mine. I mean, so, boy, yeah, if they're in here, that's, yeah, I would, so that's what I would do. Yeah, I know that they've caught a couple down in, in Lock Raven, but I don't know if they can come up over the dam or... How big was it? It was maybe like 16 inches. Oh, really? Yeah. Right down here? Well, well down around the bend. There's okay. A run and it, it, like I said, it was upside down. It was dead. Uh, but it was sitting at the bottom yeah. of the run. And yeah, was, fishermen clearly killed it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would definitely tell them, tell them... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. That's a good fish, too. That was such a subtle bite. That's so interesting. All right, we're in the game. And he ate the top one, too. He ate that little. I'm not sure. What did he eat? Let's see. I'm gonna ease him over. He ate the bottom, of course, yeah. The beat head. Oh, well. Wow. Someone else has caught this fish before. This fish has line in his mouth. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that. Let's see if we can help him. That's crazy. He's got fishing line in his mouth. Well, you don't see that often. Let's see if we can real quickly Help him. Just it's a better way to handle these fish, and I want to be good to them. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> Released. Even better. It's close. So I've just come above this run, and as I came here and uh, I stepped, 
I blew out a couple of fish right here. So, doesn't look like much for habitat here, does it? But I saw them scary, one or two of them. That area looks better. That's gonna be hard to kind of get to. Maybe I can ease over here. Yeah, felt him bite. What is it? <laughs> it's small. It's a trout. There you go. Smallest trout of the year. He had a big appetite. Look at that. He's not four inches. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> this is Jim from Match the Hatch Fishing, and uh, I finished up my day at the York Road uh, section of gunpowder. I had uh, three trout. One was really tiny, and as you saw, one had a hook in its mouth, which I uh, almost was able to surgically remove, though I failed because he slipped out of my hands. Uh, all came out of one pool, so there's a lot to learn. I saw quite a few fish rise, saw a little bit of bug activity. Uh, but I had three fish, so it's a good day, and uh, got some good exercise in here at the gunpowder. Uh, many thanks to Mike Schlepsky, tight lining Marilyn, who uh, always seems to be available to me uh, to coach me up as to what section to fish. And uh, he even offers uh, uh, some insight on the flies to you. So I'm grateful. Thank you, Mike. And again, this is Jim from Match the Hatch Fishing. Uh, see you sometime on a stream soon and tight